Hey guys, Tracy here, Zombie Guitar Company. As you can see, I'm not in the shop today. I took a sick day. I worked half a day, then I wasn't feeling so well. I had some head stuff going on, so I thought I'd come home. But with me, I brought this beautiful Tajima guitar, acoustic guitar. It is the front part of the Frontier series. It's got the uh, ambiance, ambiance uh, system in it, and. Uh, so I just wanted wanted to show show this to you. Now, of course, if you know me from the shop, I I'm not here to play a lot to demonstrate my awesome skills, which I'm still looking for. No, um, I just want to show you this guitar. Uh, I've had other guitars like this in the shop, but price range for the price for those other guitars are around fourteen fifteen hundred dollars. This one is not that okay, but it does have some of the same features as those higher end guitars. Okay. So first off, I'm gonna show you this because some people might be just wanting to watch this to know how to work this guitar and how to turn it on. Okay, at first I didn't and I like to mess with buttons and twirl and switch and do stuff and I couldn't do it so I had to call my rep. So what you gotta do is this right here, this is your volume and you push really hard and hold it on this guitar and then it comes on, see? So it works. And then to shut it off, you do the same thing. For some reason, this one, you have to push a little harder. Other ones may not be like this. Uh, for example, you also got a tuner right here. It wasn't, see you hear it click. Okay. This one doesn't, doesn't click. So maybe others are like that, I don't know. But for those who are just tuning in to find out, that's what that does. There you go, you're good to go. Go play your guitar. All right, I'm gonna show you with this guy. We've got uh, some little features here. Let's see if we can see. We have uh, reverb, you have room, you have room and hall reverb. All right there, let's see if I can zoom that in there so you can see it. All right, and uh, then you have over on the other side, you have chorus and delay. So it has the things you need, right? And this is your volume, you can have more in it or less in it. I'm gonna keep it up just loud, okay? Um, so what's what's the deal with these guitars? How are we going to get these sounds without plugging it in? Good question. So this guitar has a transducer in it, which means it's like uh, the like the like the part that's on the back of a speaker. That's what this has in it. So it uses the whole body of the guitar as a speaker, and when you play it adds in that sound to the sound that you're playing and out the sound hole comes the sound of everything, all right? So I'm just gonna have it on, we're gonna put it on room and I'm just gonna, let's just do it without the chorus right now and just listen to the. You hear it? Now let me just go ahead and shut it off real quick. So you hear the before and after, right? Let's turn it on. Hopefully that's coming through the phone okay. Okay. So let's let's go straight up and down there for the uh, the room in the hall. It's a little deeper. Okay, let's go all the way over to the hall. thing here. There we go. It's pretty cool. So this means you can do a gig without having to hook into a, a PA. You can just mic the guitar, mic the acoustic. Okay. All right, so that's with the uh, the reverb. Okay, let's uh, let's back the reverb off. Let's try the uh, let's try the chorus. It's 
not as strong. Let's go over here, let's go right between the chorus and the delay. <laughs> back in there. I don't hear the chorus as strong as the others, so we're going to back the reverb off and let's go put some delay. Hear that? Pretty cool guitar. Okay, now I, I guess I've been telling you about this guitar, but I haven't really told you other stuff about it, right? <laughs> um, let's let's look real quick at these knobs. I love kind of a gosh, like, I want to say a copperish, brassish looking. I don't know the correct terminology. I'm sorry about that. Brass, I guess, brashes. But they they look like they're. I don't know how the, what the words, it looks like they're a little worn or whatever. It's uh, pretty cool. Um, let me see if I can read this that's in uh, something I could understand. Okay, the top of this guitar is uh, solid spruce. Sides are sable. Neck is okomi. Sorry if I murdered that, guys. Uh, the fretboard is uh, chilica wood. Mm, I don't know. Okay, but well, actually the, uh, the fretboard is, is kind of pretty. This video will do it justice or not. It's not whatever chilic wood is. <laughs> I don't know who's licking it, but um, then let's see. Uh, what else? What else? What else? <clears throat> Bridge is the ch it's C H H L I K chilic wood. All right. Um, it's got a piezo pickup. Uh, the Tajima. Ambiance, ambiance, and tuner. Uh, volume, reverb, delay, and chorus. Machine heads, antique brass. There you go. That's where I was messing up. Um, there you go. That's what that is. Uh, let's show. Let's show the bridge off. It's the same thing as the, the neck there. Anyways, you know, Oh, uh, let me show you this. Okay, real cool thing here. So this is uh, where you plug it in to charge it. I'm not sure how long a charge lasts. I charged it today. I've been playing it for 30 minutes or so and it's fine. But look, look at this. Okay, this is what I think is cool. There's the battery. Now, it's not your normal go to Walmart and get this battery type of thing. But that does come out. And there's a little a little board in there too. And this is where you charge it. So that's pretty cool because that means if the battery on the inside dies, you take the battery out and you order a new one. Whew. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's you don't have to go see a technician about uh, you know changing your battery or anything. So that's pretty cool. So um, there's a, there's a there's a headphone jack right there, and there's also a looks like a phone plug. Like you could plug a phone into a phone jack maybe or something. I don't I don't know. I I just got this in, so I apologize. I haven't did any advanced research or studying on this thing. Um, it did shut off on me though. Turn it back on. Okay. It goes to, I guess if you don't play it for too long, it shuts off, which is great, right? Great feature. All right. I still am trying to figure out this chorus. I guess, I guess if it was any, it was too strong, it maybe have a digital sound to it. It's, it's, it's a little bit there, I can hear it, okay? Uh, I, always, I like the, I like the reverb, so.
Okay. Long video, I know, guys. I just this this is a, this is a cool guitar, right? This, the Tajima Frontier. Now they have one <clears throat> that's a step up from this. It's got a, a darker top on it, but uh, I got the one that was more affordable. Now let's talk about price. Now I told you about the ones I've had in the shop before that wasn't a Tajima. I think I've had the Lag series in the shop, and those are fourteen hundred dollars. Now when you're getting in the fourteen hundred dollar realm, you're talking lower end Taylor stuff. Now you you can get a USA made or Mexican made or whatever um, but they don't have the cool effects and things so so anyways this baby comes in at $599 so $600 okay $600 it's it's a well-built guitar it sounds good okay it is have some it has some wood that it's hard to pronounce right but um, it, it, it sounds good and it's got it's got the uh, it's got the sound effects in it and uh, for the price for the other ones that are out there, for this price, that's 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 really good. That is good. Um, what else was I going to tell you? Um, and you know, guys, you know, let's be honest. Made in China, right? I, as I tell people in my shop, you, an acoustic guitar that's under a thousand dollars is usually going to made, be made in China, or you know, maybe Indonesia or someplace like that. But. <clears throat> You know, USA made guitars now, acoustics are going to be fourteen, fifteen hundred dollars and up. Uh, but this one comes in with the, the sound effects uh, at 600 bucks. And I think it was thought out. You know, I do dig, like I said, the battery. You take that out, it's super cool. Okay. Uh, it's got the, um, you know, it's not really a dreadnought, kind of like a, a grand. Is that grand concert type thing? It's got the big booty, with all the big booty on it. One other thing is what I would do if you're in my shop and you bought this guitar, I would uh, recommend having the strings lowered. They're just a little bit too high. Okay, now up here it's okay. You can cow cowboy cord it and you're okay. But when you start getting down here, <clears throat> uh, we would we could we could take this bridge and, and shave quite a bit off there and drop those strings down a bit. Um, the nut looks good on it. I don't know what kind of nut they put on there. I don't even know if they tell me what kind of nut they put on there. Bridge, nut, no, nah, it doesn't say. So um, it might be one of those things where you could update the, upgrade the nut as well. <clears throat> you know, there's, the tuners are okay. The tuners are okay, but the nut, you know, you might want to get a graph tech nut on there. We've got those. Tusk nut. <laughs> So there's the volume, you can actually turn that down some. So it's kind of in there, so you can pour it back in there. Put a lot of it in there. Okay, so here you go kids. Uh, Tajima Frontier. It's at the Zombie Guitar Company. Come check us out, all right? If you haven't, come check us out. Now's the time. You know, I counted before I left the shop, and I had 53 acoustic guitars. 53. So they're ranging from price from $200 all the way up to. Let me think about that. We've got some that are about $2,200 in there, $2,500, I think. So, please check us out. Uh, if you could, like, share, subscribe, tell people about us. Uh, I'll post this up on YouTube, put the links on Facebook, put some pictures on Instagram. <clears throat> but, if you get a chance, come check out this guitar. Again, Tajima Frontier Series. It's got the electronics in it that uh, you don't have to plug in. All right, so cool stuff. Again, it's been a sick day with Tracy. <laughs> so uh, thanks, guys. I appreciate you. And if it wasn't because of you, we couldn't do what we do. Ah, it rhymes. Gosh. Maybe I should be a poet or write some songs. <laughs> Sorry I didn't sing. If I could sing good, I would. I would. I would sing songs that would heal the world. But I can't sing. So I just got to sell the guitars to the people that do, right? See you guys.